So Alan Babich returns to action on the 31st of March on the Wardley Clark undercard. This will be the first time he's fought since suffering that disastrous defeat where he got knocked out in the first round by Rosansky nearly a year ago now. Now most of us expected Babich to get chinned at some point because of how crude and reckless he is, but not many people thought that Rosansky would be the guy to do it because he's very crude and reckless himself. So he returns to action and he'll be fighting a guy who many of you will be familiar with, at least if you're from the UK, if you've been watching Sky Shows, and that is Steve Robinson. This is not the uh, fighter from back in the days from Cardiff who prints the scene for, obviously. This is a heavyweight Steve Robinson who has this weird kind of gimmick where he comes out dressed as Ivan Drago. He kind of looks like Ivan Drago. And his ring music, his ring walk music, is the theme song from The Lion King. So it's a very, very strange gimmick he's got going on there. But again, he's a heavyweight, six and two, four wins by knockout, 33 years of age, six foot seven from Newcastle in the northeast of England, taking on Alan Babich, who is a much shorter, smaller man, six foot one, same age at 33, and he's 11 and one with 10 KOs. I think this is a reasonable fight for Alan Babich to come back to, you know, given the devastating nature of his loss, uh, given the level that he's been operating at, which is not a particularly high level, then yeah, putting him in there against a Steve Robinson, who, to be fair to him, can be exciting at times because of the fact that he isn't very good and he's just willing to trade with people, etc. If he's willing to trade with Alan Babich here, we could be in for some uh, fun entertainment. Let's just put it that way. This is not going to be anything like world-level boxing, right? This is going to be car crash television, potentially. Some people think that Babbitt should maybe go down to cruiserweight. Some people think he should stay at bridgeweight, try and get a rematch with Rosansky. But I don't know, for some reason, he's chosen to, for the time being at least, stay at heavyweight and take on Steve Robinson. And again, this will be on a Sky show. And it seems as though Babbitt, who's, to my knowledge, still associated, I'm not sure if he's still managed by Dylan White, has broken away from Eddie Hearn and DAZN. He seemed kind of aggrieved and disappointed by the fact that Hearn didn't pick up uh, and DAZN didn't pick up the Rosansky fight. That fight was on Sky. And so he's continued his relationship with Sky, it would seem now, in fighting Steve Robertson on the uh, Wardley Clark undercard. And this could be indicative of some type of tension between Dylan White and Eddie Hearn because Dylan White, somehow, some way according to Derek Chisora, blames Eddie Hearn for failing that test. So make it out what you will. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below about Babich against Steve Robinson.